Hey guys, welcome to the class. Today we will work on your beautiful, graceful posture. So if you're ready to embark on the journey with me, take a mat and let's get it started. So we're gonna start by just sitting position when your legs are crossed right in front of you. Bring your hands behind your back. You may interlace the fingers. Bring your chest slightly forward, open it as you do deep breath in. Imagine that you wanna reach the floor with the right elbow. And as you exhale, you're gonna switch the side. You do the same in the opposite direction. While you're doing this movement, you find your center. Your glutes are nice and stable, so you don't wanna bring the seat bones up one by one. It's always down on the floor. Imagine that your glutes are really heavy and you just don't wanna reach them up because it's heavy. It's sticking down to the mat. And just a couple of more. One more as you press the left side down and then as you keep your elbows open wide, you do exhale, you're gonna stick your ribs in and as you inhale, you're gonna open it forward up. And as you exhale, you're gonna flex the back in. And as an inhale, you're gonna open it up. One more, we press it in, belly in. Inhale and then we're gonna reach it up, arms down by the side. You're gonna bend the knees to the one side and there is our mermaid position. You bend the knees down and imagine again that your glutes are still heavy. Both of your glutes are touching the mat. If you feel that there is a little bit of deviation, so you may bring something like a yoga block or whatever you have, or even a sleeper if you have it close by you, right under the glute that is more down. So one hand goes down on the floor as you do deep breath in. You separate the ribs on the one side as you open a hand fan. The hand goes down and as you exhale, you're gonna flex it in. Inhale as you reach your arm up and you look at your hand. Exhale, we're gonna flex it in. Inhale as we reach it up. And then we're gonna do my one more flexion in. Inhale as we press it up and then we need to change the position of your legs as the one hand is down on the floor You're gonna do deep breath in And as exhale, you're gonna switch the side One more deep breath in same positioning of the glutes arms are up and then exhale as you're gonna flex the body in Deep breath in I'm gonna inhale and I reach my hand up and exhale. We're gonna flex it back forward in and then as an in, you're gonna reach it back up. You look at your hand, you're gonna flex it in. And then we're gonna bring it back in. Two hands are gonna be down on the floor. You're gonna press them down on the floor, creating a little bit of resistance. And we're gonna stand in a quadruped position. When you stand in a quadruped position, you wanna align your shoulders and the wrist, your hips and your knees. You do deep breath in. As you inhale, you're gonna extend the back. And exhale, you're gonna do the curvature in as you look down on your pubic bone. Deep breath in, look up. And as you exhale, you look at your pubic bone and imagine that your chin is reaching it in. One more deep breath in. Exhale as you flex it in. Press your glutes down on the floor and we're gonna work with your spine and circulation. You're gonna round your back and through each vertebra, you're gonna move it all the way back in for forward, creating this beautiful wave. As you stand in this one position, you wanna do deep breath in, shoulders down, ribs in. And exhale, you're gonna flex your back. And again, you're waving back till the glutes are sitting still on your heels. And again, you're gonna go forward through the spine and circulation, each vertebra at a time, pushing your hands down on the floor. You do deep breath in. And as you exhale, you're gonna flex it back in. You're gonna reach it down till the glutes are down. And one more time, as you go forward through the spine and circulation, you're gonna do nice deep breath in. You stay here, you're gonna bend the elbows down by the side of the rib. And we're gonna look down at the floor. As you inhale, you reach it up back in this one position. And as you exhale, you're gonna bend the elbows down by the side of the rib cage. Down, look down at the floor. Poke your nose down towards the mat. And as you inhale again, inhale open. Engage the triceps when you go up, but not just the triceps muscles. And at the same time, you wanna engage your core. You wanna engage your deep back muscle open. Go over. And inhale. And then you're gonna roll the spine back up, standing in the same quadruped position as we stood before. 
want to create this beautiful alignment. So, and then what we do, we're going to bring one hand down. So you're going to separate the knees a little bit further away to, uh, to stay in the most comfortable for your position. Pull the elbow in towards the opposite side. And as you inhale, you're going to reach it up. Pull the elbow in towards the opposite side. And as you inhale, you reach it up. So what you want to do when you do this flexion, you want to start with the ribs. You pull it in, you inhale it up. And the same time, we're not changing the position of the rest of the body, right? Just flex from the ribs and up. Two more. And we reach. One more. And exhale. The hand goes down on the floor and we switch the side. Elbow goes in. Inhale as we bring it back in. Exhale back. Inhale, reach. Pull it in. And you reach. Still keep your hips aligned with the knees. Don't stick the glutes there out. Wonderful. Two more. Stuck it in. And exhale. One more in. Open up. Hands are down on the floor. If you feel that it's not comfortable for your breath, you may fold them out in two or just bring something under your wrist or stand on your fist. You're going to still look down at the floor. Pull the shoulder blades together, separate them apart. While you're pulling them in together and while you're separating them apart, the rest of the body is still in the same position. So what you want to work on is just the shoulder blades, the muscles on your back, and exhale. Push it out. Four more. Press it away. Three. Send it out. Two. Push it away. One more, press it, and then you want to create circles with the shoulders. So imagine a ball in a socket. So right now, you're moving your shoulders like you're moving a ball in a socket. Beautiful. Two more. Be careful. One more. And then you switch the side again, trying to dissociate the shoulder joint. And three more. Two amazing. One more, and then you're gonna roll your glutes down, sitting right in front of you. You push your hands down at the floor as you do deeper, then you're gonna reach it all the way back up, open through your chest. And as exhale again, you're gonna round the back and you're gonna roll the spine down. And then we will switch the position. So as you're gonna sit on your glutes, just bring them a little bit more to the center of the mat. You're gonna drop your thighs under your knees. So you're sitting as well, you may interlace the fingers right under your knees, whatever works for you better. Flexion with your back, so you separate the shoulder blades. And then you're going to move them in together. So you're going to bring your chest up as much as possible. You want to protract the shoulders out. And as exhale, inhale back in. And exhale. Inhale back in. Let's do for two more. Slide it back. Sliding forward. And inhale. Protract forward. And inhale. And then we're going to round your back and then we're going to roll the spine down each vertebrae at a time. As you sit down on the floor, Bring your feet down. I want you to find connection with the mat. The back of your head, your shoulder blades, and the pelvis are going to be down on the mat. So you're sitting and then you're going to roll the spine up each vertebrae at a time. Till you're coming in a bridge position. So we're working with spine mobility now. I want you to separate each vertebrae at a time and then you go back down. Beautiful. Till the pelvis is down on the floor. As you do deep breath and exhale, you're going to reach the back all up as you're coming up into the bridging position. In the bridge, you're going to pull the ribs in, aligning them with your hips and the knees. And then you're going to roll it back down. The next time you go up, you're going to go on the right side of the spine, creating a C curve around your upper ribs. And then you're going to go down on the left side of the spine, creating a straight line around the spine line. Then again, we're going to go up on the left side, C curve, and then you're going to go roll it down on the right side. Let's repeat it a little bit more. It's a beautiful 
exercise to wake up your deep back muscles. And then we switch going up to the left side, C curve. Well, it's very nice movement. Just a couple of more. Curl around, back in. Left go up, right go down. And then we're gonna go up on the spine line. Deep breath in as you hold it here, you reach the arms up and then you're gonna bring them behind your back. As exhale, you're gonna bring back in right above your chest. Then you're gonna bring it back down. And as exhale, you're gonna bring it back in. Imagine that you're holding a yoga block or a huge feet ball right in your hands. And you just wanna bring it behind your head. And as exhale, you're gonna bring it back in. Two more. And exhale. One more. And then you reach it back in, you roll the spine back out. So arms down by the side of the hip, you straighten the left leg, bend the right knee, and then you wanna twist you back to the one side as you do deep breath in. Exhale, you're gonna bring the right leg back down, and then you bend the left knee, you switch it out. And then you wanna bring it back in, beautiful. So you're gonna bend right leg again, you're just gonna push yourself to flip over. So you're gonna lay down on your back, on your belly, hands are right in front of you. As you do deep breath in, this swan position, but you are not going in a full swan as we usually do. So what you wanna do now, you're gonna go up and you still feel that your ribs are down on the floor. And as exhale, you're gonna go down. You are not pushing yourself through the arms. You have enough muscles in your back, in your core, so when you exhale, even if you're not keeping your hands down on the floor, you will be able to do this exercise. You go up, ribs down, you look down at the floor. Beautiful. Exhale, as you go up, you look down at the floor. And again, you can support your body with your hands, but try not to use them the full uh, strength. Just a couple of more opening up your chest muscles. One more deep breath in, holding it for three seconds. Again, I'm not using my arms. Two, one, and you're gonna hold this. So for now, you're gonna bring the arms down by the side of the hips. You're gonna hold this for four, three, two, one, hands behind your head, you go down. As you go up, you touch the floor with the elbows, lift them up lower. Exhale, lift the ribs down, belly in, touch the floor with the elbows, go lower. Let's do for five. And we bring the chest back. Exhale, four. And let's do it back down. Let's do for three. And we bring it back in two. Exhale in, go lower. And again, exhale up, down. Reach, hands right in front of you as you do deeper, then open in a swan position. And as you exhale, you're gonna go all the way down till the chest is touching the floor. You're gonna straight the arms right in front of you. Still looking at the floor as you do deep breath in. Imagine that you're touching the right knee with the right hand. Exhale back down. Inhale to the left side. Exhale back in. Deep breath in, open through the one side. Exhale, go lower. Inhale, open to the left. Exhale in, right knee touching, going back down, left knee touching, exhaling in, deep breath in right, exhale you lower, deep breath the left, and exhale back in, and let's do for a six more. So each side is good, so it's going to be for three times. And again, ribs are still down. So we're only switching the sides of the chest. And exhale a couple of more. Beautiful, back in. One more. And then you lower hands in front of you as you do deep breath in, go back in. So you're gonna stand in a quadruped position and a little bit extension. And as exhale, you separate the shoulder blades, tuck your belly in. Deep breath in, inhale. Exhale, over. One more in. Exhale, back. So you're gonna see it on the glutes one more time. Cross the legs right in front of you. Then you're gonna press your arms 
in your uh, under your knees, see this deep breath in, holding and trying to squeeze your shoulder blades. Exhale, you relax, one more time, hands behind your head. You do deep breath in, you hold this curve and then the opposite elbow is reaching the opposite knee. Inhale and you switch to the same and the opposite side, open, exhale in. And then you're gonna lift your arms up into the air as you do inhale and you hold this for three seconds. Two. Creating this amazing, beautiful straight line. Imagine that you're a little bit taller. And exhale as you bring your arms down by the side of the hips. Bring your shoulder blades back. Keep your back as straight as possible till the next class. Thank you for watching me. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can use this workout every day in the morning or late at night. Thank you for watching me once more. Don't forget to press the like button and follow my channel. Bye.